Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about some of the readings you can take on a transformer. That will tell you if a transformer is actually good or bad. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is my meter is currently in ohms. Okay. It's set to take resistance. So what you want to do is you want to take the resistance across the primary winding. Okay. Now primary winding. If you look at the label in this case, my primary common is white. My black is 120 volts. My red is 208. Orange is 240. Because I'm working with 120 volts here on the training board, I'm going to take the resistance across my primary winding. Okay, my resistance across my primary winding is like 19 ohms. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that to ground. Okay, I want to know if my transformer is grounded. So I'm going to find a spot someplace that has metal, and I'm going to touch the metal of the transformer with one lead while leaving the other lead still connected to one of the ter one of the terminals, okay? So my meter showing OL from primary to ground, I do not have a path to ground. So my primary winding is good. My secondary winding is always off to usually off to one side and usually not one of the wires that's part of the big bundle of wires on the primary side okay in this case it's yellow and white or yellow and blue so my reading there is 1.1 1.0 it jumps back and forth a little bit that might be my meter okay so i have a good secondary winding now what if i take and go from one of the secondaries to ground. Okay, so again, I have one of the secondary connected and I'm going to ground. I have OL on the meter. That tells me I do not have a path to ground on that circuit. So that tells me my transformer is actually good. Okay, it's a quick way to check a transformer without putting power on a circuit to make sure you don't have a bad transformer. If you get any resistance readings whatsoever from the windings to ground, it's time to think about replacing that transformer. Even if it's a high number, it's going to fail eventually. Should never have something from primary to ground, secondary to ground, and you have to work with this with the transformer disconnected. Some of the equipment out there actually uses the common on the secondary side connected to the frame of the unit. Don't get mistaken by that. So always work with your disc transformer disconnected.